Hi, my name's Kevin MacDermott and welcome to DAC 2020. I'm with Imperis and I'm going to give a short introduction to RISC-V processor reference models, virtual platforms and tools. So before I get started, let me say a few words about Imperis. Clearly nobody would tape our design today without extensive simulation. and We believe the same should be, be implied to embedded software, extensive simulation and verification before committing to final design decisions and getting software started well ahead of hardware availability. Imperis develops simulators, tools, debuggers and modeling technology really based around the front end of SOC designs to help with the early software development and architecture exploration. We're 10 years old, self-funded, profitable, based out of the UK with some staff based in the US. So the RISC-V Open ISA specification gives developers a very large number of choices. We would typically expect a programmer's view of a data sheet to look at around 60 key characteristics to build a model of that processor. The RISC-V Open ISA lends itself to many, many more configuration choices. So where can we help? We have an extensive library of processor models, over 250 in the library. This is a full envelope model of the full ISA specification, which then can be configured to your particular processor needs and your configuration. And then you can also add custom extensions. We have a library of uh, periphery elements that you can then build to full, fulfill the full system application needs. And our technology allows you to build a hierarchical arrangement of multi and dual core designs, which then can be build, built into a larger uh, array. The PhotoAd custom instructions really starts with analyzing the C code to look for hotspots in a code. This allows you to simulate a design, look for key opportunities of parts of the algorithm that would benefit from a custom instruction. Through a process of developing a model, you can then tune and analyze further improvements and to see the flexibility of how this would affect your whole design. So this is a brief overview of some of the options we have available for RISC-V DV. Uh, RISC-V OVP SIM is a free instruction set simulator we made available on GitHub and this has been adopted by the RISC-V International Compliance Working Group in the development of the compliance test suite. We've also donated the RV32i test suite which we developed from our test generator. As I mentioned before, we have a flow to develop custom instructions, and that also lends towards uh, custom instruction design verification. We've worked with the group at Google on a random instruction stream generator, and they've used our model in that flow as well. We've also developed a step and compare methodology within a system Verilog framework to embed our reference model with the popular uh, system Verilog simulators from Cadence, Mentor, Synopsis, and also Metrics uh, technology. The RISC-V OVP SIM is a free reference model that we put up on GitHub, and that's available for commercial use as well. This was adopted by the RISC-V International Compliance Working Group, and is a full envelope model of the entire RISC-V ratified specification. It also includes bit manipulation and also the latest vector extensions. To support a complete RISC-V processor verification, we've embedded our reference model in a system Verilog ben test bench. This allows an arrangement to step and compare the actual RTL of the processor step by step, instruction by instruction, with the reference model on running exactly the same code. This allows a direct comparison and also helps with the detailed analysis should a discrepancy be found. And uh, this is an example of one of our partners. This is the Open Hardware Group, which are using our reference model as part of their flow uh, for the Core 5 uh, RTL processor cores that will be available open source. And as you can see here, the details of a full processor verification plan are very extensive. But fundamental to this is the reference model you're going to compare against. So in, in the conclusion, the summary here is that our processor reference model and analysis tools are great for early software development, well before hardware is available. For hardware architectural exploration, SOC, multi-core arrays, heterogeneous designs, 
custom instructions and the new vector engines. Processor design verification is fundamental and the fundamental quality of the processor test plan is the quality of the response model. There's some additional articles available here at DAC 2020 in our virtual booth and please stop by and look at our getting started guide for processor design verification and also how to accelerate applications with just the right RISC-V custom instruction. Thank you for your time.